You know how much money a funeral costs? That's the thing that Joey Diaz hit me to. He goes, you know what a Vince Cam is? These fucking mortuary homes and the funeral homes and all that. You have to do it. You have to do it even if someone wants to be cremated. You have to embalm them. So you have to pay for that. And then you have to pay for a coffin. And then they try to upsell you. Don't you want a Cadillac of a coffin for Grampy? Grampy always liked red velvet. He was the king. He dressed Grampy up in his nicest suit in a red velvet. And, lo- and it cost you $40,000 for the whole thing. You're like, what am I doing? My buddies pulled a Big Lebowski. We had a comedian that we all started with named Skeezy, and he passed away. Um, and nobody in his family wanted to claim the ashes, so Benji and Matt Edgar were like, well, we'll put him somewhere. He loved Venice Beach. Let's take him to the beach. So Benji goes to the Venice Beach mortuary or whatever, picks up the urn. They go to the ocean, and Matt's kind of watching Benji, and he goes like waist high in the water. And he dumps out Skeezy's ashes, and it all just starts to compile <laughs> all, around, <laughs> all around Benji. And Matt's laughing, and fucking Benji's cracking up. And as he gets out, like the ashes are like following him, so they're like cr- all over his body. So he had to go shower in one of those Venice Beach like public showers to get the ashes off him. From what I heard, someone told who was who are they talking to. There was some podcast we were talking about. I kind of wish I could remember so I'd give them credit. But there was some podcast where they were talking about what you're what you're really getting when you get Grampy's ashes. It's like you can ash that's just sitting in the bottom of this furnace. It's not necessarily your grandpa. They don't like clean it out perfectly. Right. No one's watching. Yeah. No one gives a shit. Also, what it really looks like when they burn someone, uh, when they burn the body, you have like fragments of bone and shit. There's a lot. See if you can find like images of what it looks like when they actually cremate someone but the guy was like you're not getting ashes and not only that sometimes they just throw other stuff in there like cement you'll get cement you like they don't give a fuck yeah. like it's just it's symbolic right it's just a dumb thing we do what you're supposed to do is let that body feed life we're so stingy we don't even let our bodies feed life so that's what it really looks like look what it looks like it's bones and chips and shit ew Theo had a mortician on before. Oh, maybe it was Theo. <clears throat> Could have been. Did he say that? I don't know specifically. I was trying to I look. Bet, I, I bet it. that's exactly what it is. <clears throat> now I'm thinking about it. I don't know. It could have been anybody. Either way, there was someone was saying that a lot of the stuff you're getting in there, in disrepar- I'm not saying all of them, of course. Some of them, I'm sure, it's, you're grampy. But other disreputable ones, they don't give a fuck. They'll throw a fucking kitty litter in there. Here, go worship the kitty litter, <laughs> you fucking yeah. idiot. They don't care. They're right. just doing this in and out and in and out. And here's the other thing. Do you know how many guys wind up fucking the female corpses? No. Do you know that this has been an issue? Uh-uh. No. My friend claims that when he was young, that they went to a funeral home and that the guy came to like they were ringing the doorbell the guy wouldn't come they're knocking on the door it was like for someone in their family that was dead and the guy was in the back and came out he was sweaty and out of breath and they were like what the fuck is this guy doing he was acting super fucking sketchy and really weird and they think he was back there with one of the corpses oh yeah he goes he just felt like he just fucked somebody I go, really? He goes, when you think about it, it's like these women are hot and they're, they haven't deteriorated and no one's around. Oh, come on. Yes. There's rigor mortis and stuff. It's, it, it's hard. Are you sure? Yeah. It's got to be. It's got to be like. Reported cases of employees sexually abusing dead bodies are relatively rare. Yeah, if they get caught. <clears throat> Perhaps the most prolific <laughs> necrophiliac. Do you remember the one that uh, the, the bit Kinnison had? Mm-mm. Oh my God. It was how I found out about Kinnison. I, I found out about it through a girl I worked with. This girl I worked with reenacted Kinnison's bit about homosexual necrophiliacs paying money to morticians to spend a few hours undisturbed with their freshest male corpse. So Kinnison like, did this bit. Where was, you ever see the bit? Mm-mm. Oh, it's a fucking classic, dude. It's a classic. See if you can find the bit. Nah, I don't know if you can find that. Play it and then we'll just edit it out. Fucking YouTube. Yeah, they're tricky, man. We gotta fucking play the game. Listen, they're awesome. 
Mm-hmm. They're awesome. They have the best platform. I mean, it's the most yeah. accessible. It's so easy to, to share. The sharing things is huge. Yeah. Because you don't really share Netflix sto- movies Stop and that. stuff. I, I tell Marcus people. Sh- here it is. <laughs> thing. Wow. What a bit. Yeah. <clears throat> so this girl that I work with, this was at uh, the Boston Athletic Club. <laughs> she got down in the parking lot. And she was lying on her stomach. She was like, oh, oh, I mean, life keeps fucking in the ass even after you're dead. It never ends. She's like doing that. And I'm howling laughing at her doing an impression of Kinison. Wow. That's how I found out about Sam Kinison. Wow. Yeah. Fucking amazing. That was before I was even thinking about doing comedy. I was 19. Wow. Yeah, I was like, wow, that's crazy. What's he doing? <laughs> yeah. I just like, what? I remember watching him for the first time going, oh, that's comedy too? Thank you.